Hey everybody, this is Jake with Myers Flies, and today I'm going to tie up a really quick nymph for you. Uh, something that is really effective and yet uh, very simple to tie. It's literally just some dubbing uh, with a little tailing material on a hook uh, wrapped up with wire. Uh, so I'll show this to you in just a minute. But I'm calling this a squirrel back nymph. And the reason I'm doing that is because I cut the hair off the back of a squirrel. Pretty original, right? Uh, this is a this is a little squirrel that uh, my son and I we were out hunting this past fall back in uh, 2020, and just the color on this thing, uh, you know, really looks awesome. It's like a little uh, reddish brown uh, type squirrel, and so uh, all we did was took this, and you can see there, there's the the face up top. Uh, we just you know scun it out like we would. You know, when we're skinning squirrels, you to cook them and eat them. And then what we do is we uh, skin it out, uh, make sure we flesh the back real good. And then uh, just take this and wash it, you know, just uh, get it clean with some, I, I just use Dawn. Uh, and so uh, what we did then is just put a little bit of borax on the back. 20 mule team borax you get it at the in the laundry department you know wherever you grocery shop and then just took this to a board and took little thumbtacks and just all the way around you know put that on a board to dry it out now one of the things uh, with doing this is this hair you know gets I mean kind of dry uh, so um, so what's going to happen whenever we put this on the on the hook is you're going to have to um, uh, on the thread you have to use a little bit of dubbing wax and so these are really short hairs so you're going to see this this gets really buggy uh, looking because of these little short hairs but uh, they just stick out all crazy and then they kind of float back and move around in the water so it's a really effective nymph and uh, you know just something that you can do uh, you know with your kids if you take them out hunting uh, show them that uh, you use this animal you know we harvest it uh, you know we eat it uh, man I love fried squirrel uh, so uh, anyhow I won't talk about that or I won't talk about the fly uh, but anyhow the fried squirrel uh, you can fry it and then afterwards you take that uh, animal and you can use the hide for other things go catch some fish uh, etc and so uh, just a fun way to kind of bring full circle your uh, your hunting experience with your fishing experience and uh, teach your kids and your family something along the way i hope you like this nymph okay here we are with the hook in the vise this is a 1560 daiichi nymph hook and this is a 2.5 millimeter copper tungsten bead from firehole i'm going to do is put a little bit of 140 denier rusty brown thread on the hook and then we'll do a little bit of tailing material maybe uh four or five little strands of coke de Leon tail and again with this you know i'm going to tie a little bit slower here but just um it's just it's just uh quick you know these are just some really quick little little nymphs that you can that you can tie up i'm not going to take a lot of time tapering the body I'm going to put this wire on. This is a copper wire in size small. I'm going to put that on the hook side nearest me. Wrap that back. I'm going to take a little bit of wax. Dubbing wax. And put that on here. Like I said, sometimes that squirrel gets a little dry. There's not a lot of under fur on those squirrels. And so a lot of times, you know, just those real spiky guard hairs, you know, they don't uh, wrap onto the hook. They don't dub on really nicely without, you know, some under fur. A lot of times when I do like skin rabbits and things like that, I'll keep some of that under fur. Rabbits got a lot of under fur. So you could use that if you're blending dubbings. I like to blend my own dubbings just for my own personal flies. This is... You know just something that i'm tying just you know just for me so uh, it's not like i'm trying to uh, you know mass produce these things because obviously colors you know 
would be different, you know, from squirrel to squirrel, etc. So, and that's it. You dub that up, take your wire, I just counter wrap that bag. I mean, you could put a, uh, you know, like a hackle or something on here to, uh, you know, if you wanted some more leg type material, but I'll, I'll show you this is, this is plenty buggy enough. And I'll whip finish it. it kind of reminds you of like a little waltz worm. Just same concept. But that's, you know, just just being able to take that squirrel and, you know, this gets in the water and all them legs just kind of go around. I don't really do a whole lot to that. No need to brush it. And, uh, you know, you might pick it out with your fingers there a little bit, but this gets wet. It'll go back in the water. It'll move all around. And so just a really easy way that you can uh, tie a bunch of these little nymphs, put a little bit of slaras on there, hit that. And so there you go, that's a squirrel back nymph. Check us out on myersflies.com. Stop down at the fly shop and we'll have a cup of coffee, listen to some bluegrass music and talk about fly fishing and uh, just something that I like to use here in the winter time just a very simple pattern I'll tie these in 16s as it is here or in 18 and uh, I'll tell you I use this as a little tag dropper and uh, you know a little trailing fly and they're really really productive so try it out and uh, take a child out fishing take them out hunting get them out in god's great creation and uh, pick up some trash while you're out there and leave it better than you found it have a great day